Hi there. It is great to meet you again. Today, we will learn more about diabetes and the importance of promoting healthy habits. If you haven't watched Tom's first video, click on the first link in the description below to view it. Let's start with sharing some tips to grow healthy and happy like me. Children and teens should eat well, get enough sleep and exercise a lot. Let's do a quiz to test your knowledge. Teacher, split your students into small groups. OK, guys, let's start. Please pay attention to the instructions. I will ask you a series of multiple choice questions, which you will have one minute to discuss with your team. When the time is up, each group should send one member to the front of the class to answer. Each correct answer earns one point. The team with the most points wins. Let's start with some warm-up questions. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a chronic condition. This means that it can't be transmitted from person to person. Diabetes is marked mainly by having too much sugar in the blood. The pancreas of a person with diabetes stops making insulin or can't make good use of it. Why is insulin important? Insulin is a hormone that helps cells in the body take in sugar from the food that we eat and convert it into the energy we need. There are two main types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, which is the type that Tom has, his body doesn't make any insulin. Type 2 diabetes, when the body makes insulin but doesn't use it well. So, now that we know what diabetes is and its main types, can you tell me who can get each type? Type 1 diabetes is commonly diagnosed in children and teens, but can develop in people of all ages. Type 2 diabetes mostly affects older adults, but is increasingly diagnosed in children and young adults. Let's continue. Why is it important to look after our health? Whether you live with a chronic condition like diabetes or not, it's important to look after your health to avoid getting sick and ensure that your body gets the energy that it needs every day. Now, let's learn more how we can take care of our health. How many minutes should a child and teen exercise each day? The World Health Organization recommends that children and teens should exercise at least one hour a day. Tom, could you give us some examples of exercise activities that you do? Sure. From Monday to Friday, I ride my bike from home to school and back. This takes around 15 minutes each way. On Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I have gym class. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I dance hip hop. I don't think I do any exercise on the weekend. Do you play outside with your friends or take your dog for a walk? Tom? Yes, you're right. On weekends, I often play hide and seek with friends at the park. And every Sunday, I take my dog Rufus for a long walk. Do these count as exercise? Yes, Tom, they sure do. Any movement counts. OK, everyone, now that we've learned about the importance of exercising every day, let's find out about sleep. How many hours should children and teens sleep each night?
The World Health Organization recommends that children and teens sleep and rest between 8 and 10 hours every night. Try to avoid watching TV or looking at a screen before going to bed. This will help ensure a good night's sleep. Use this time to read or play board games. Let's now test our knowledge on eating healthy. What are the main nutrients that make up the food that we eat? The food we eat is made up of three main nutrients, carbohydrates, fats and proteins. Other smaller nutrients, such as vitamins and minerals, are also present. Each of the three main nutrients are important. Here's why. When carbohydrates are turned into glucose, they are the main source of energy for the brain and the body. Fats provide energy for growth and physical activity. Proteins help to grow and repair body tissues. It is essential to include all these nutrients in the right quantities in what we eat every day, especially for children and teens who are growing up. Which of these options show the right proportion of nutrients that we should eat in our daily meals? Vegetables are the most important. They should make up half of the plate. The rest should be divided between cereals, proteins and fruits. Thanks, Miss Marjorie. I have learned so much about the importance of healthy habits to manage diabetes and help prevent type 2 diabetes. My pleasure, Tom. I hope everyone has found this session useful, including our virtual friends across the world. If you'd like to learn more, please visit kids.idf.org. Thanks, friends. See you soon. And remember to eat well, get enough sleep, and exercise a lot.